this is uh, Q2F2 here. Today I'm going to be doing a serious video on uh, FastDL and how you should set it up because of the large amount of incorrect information that I've seen in my time playing Gary's mod. Uh, so first I'm going to assume that you're using these tools which I have here, which is Notepad++ which we're going to use as a text editor and FileZilla which we're going to use as our FTP client. You can find both of these tools uh, in the description. Or you can use your own similar tools, which should fulfill the same purpose. But if you do, don't expect help. In inclusion to these tools, you will also require your own web server. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using my own website, hexhedronic.org, uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, if you use a uh, game server host, they will likely give you a free hosting service. Now it's also important to realize that the sync FastDL in uh, the most host provide, uh, hosts provide with the control panel does not actually work at all. Uh, if you set it up correctly, it can partially work, except it will not be fully automated because it's not designed to work for Gary's mod. Anyway, let us begin. Okay, so for this tutorial I'm going to be using a local server. These are a couple I have set up uh, before for testing on add-ons and game modes, etc. Uh, if you want me to do a tutorial on setting up a server, I will, but there's countless already out there, and they are fairly well described. So uh, you can use them, or common, if you wish that I do one myself. Uh, for today, I'm going to use uh, my no add-on uh, server, so I'm going to edit with Notepad++. This was when I was testing an update of the game mode deception. I'm just going to switch back to Sandbox quickly. Sandbox. Uh, ignore the other information. This is just uh, my standard setup for the server. Okay. So, I'm just going to launch that. Uh, I don't know why there's an add-on called New Folder. Uh, oh yeah, I must have made that a second ago. Thanks. Oh well. So, as we can see, we've got our server. Oh god, that cringeworthy title. No, god. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I'm back. Let's set up our uh, config file for our server now then. So, learning to fast the owl. Because, an appropriate name. I like to have this line, does nothing, just tells me when the server config is run. Um, so, this is, we'll be doing this a bit later, so I'm just going to leave this blank for now, but we'll need to set up a few server variables for FastDL to work. Let's just XX server to update the uh, server, and as you notice, server config ran. Alright, so let's get started. Setting up our FastDL. Now first we're going to need something to actually test FastDL. So say for example we have an add-on which is going to be called test add-on because it's an appropriate name. Inside of this uh, we might have some materials and we might have some models as well. Maybe a few sounds uh, is it sound or is it sound? I can never remember. Well, that's useless. Uh, it is useless. Uh, it is anyway, smart. sound, not sounds. Whoops. Yes. There. Let's just crack that. This is important because one of the key things with FastDL is that casing and your names do indeed matter. I'm just going to take a quick drink. <coughs> there we go, that's better. Now, let's get some actual content in here. So I'm going to go uh, grab a few of each thing to put in here so we can see uh, a demonstration of the structure of this add-on which we're making. 
Uh, now this is not going to be an actual add-on, this is just to demonstrate the Fastiel. We're going to have this add-on do something and uh, then we're going to attempt to get it to download the content without the workshop and without manually installing it in our game. So that's the purpose of this tutorial. Alright. Alright, so for demonstration in materials I've got the Hedronic logo. Uh, I haven't got any models because um, I can't be asked to copy any. And in sounds we have a, a lovely sound of me saying wow. Wow. Beautiful. That, that was a bit scary, I didn't realise it would be that loud. Alright, so we have this. Now the first thing you should notice is that this folder has an extremely similar structure to Gary's mod. In fact, I'm going to make a Lua folder now for some code that we'll use to demonstrate this. Now, if we go back to the Gary's mod folder, you notice we have... Well, not here, but in my uh, own client-side Gary's mod folder, we have Lua, which contains scripts um, and uh, a few other things, but mainly scripts. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. We have materials, which contains materials, and we have models, etc., which contains uh, their respective information and sound. Well, thanks for that, Tenrys. How did that even get there? I, I swear to God, I didn't install that. Tenrys hacking me. So anyway, let's go back to our add-on. So yeah, you can see that this mimics this. Uh, similarly, we're going to um, make a what's called Lua script to demonstrate these amazing textures and sounds we have. So, first I'm going to create a folder. Auto run. Inside this, client, because we're only one of client. In fact, you know what? The, yeah, client. Yes. And inside of here, Memes.lua. Not very an appropriate name, but yes. Uh, if you don't know, I, uh, this is Zero Brain Studio, which I usually use for editing um, code. Uh, Lua in particular, but for today, I'm going to. I just closed that. I don't mean to close that. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to be using Notepad because it's it's easier to explain, and most people use it. All right. All right. So we're going to make a nice little demonstration script. So uh, let's cache the material, local uh, hexa logo equals material, what is it, I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry this is the first time I've ever done a tutorial of anything, hhpoint.pg, oh, material equals uh, I think it's material. I don't know if you have to prefix it with materials. I assume you do. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've done stuff like this uh, in Garry's Mod. I don't tend to do uh, GUI based stuff, but, you know, to the channel for a little bit. There we go. Alright, so local function draw. Uh, let's just surface.set material. Uh, surface that's a material hexa logo. Surface dot draw rect. Don't draw textured rect. Zero zero. Uh, Hundred twenty eight. Yeah, I'll probably be stretched, but who cares? No, no, not for that. There we go. And uh, end. Dock, dot add. Paint, I believe, is the hook name. Memes. And draw. Now, uh, to demonstrate that sound, let's play that sound when we start up. So, surface, play sound. I believe that's the function. And uh, what was it? Q2F2WOW.OGG. Do you need to put sound in front of that? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Let's hope you don't have to. 
Alright, so I'm just going to turn G1 into a window for a second and then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to restart the server to mount our amazing add-on that we just made and uh, then we can join it. Alright, that appears to be up. We have our test add-on loading here. So let's go ahead and join our local server. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully Gary won't spite me this time. Uh, there we go. It's uh, learning fast now. Let's join. Bizarre. Actually works this time. Uh, you might notice my mouse will be a bit weird uh, now, but that's because I I use a uh, graphics tablet rather than a mouse. Which means I have different settings so I can actually play video games. It's, uh, it's not exactly easy to play an FPS, so I have it in mouse mode, which is a bit retarded. And you notice when I click outside, my mouse sort of jolts around. But, you know, it works. Uh, so, here we are in Gary's mod. You've all seen, uh, like this, completely full sandbox server. And it's not rendering at all. Well... Uh, I don't know why it's not rendering the... But uh, you can see that our sound is missing. So we're rendering that texture. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, to the wiki. So if we start draw texture correct. Uh, no, that shouldn't make a difference. I mean, for good measure, I'm going to do that anyway, but technically, it shouldn't make a difference. Oh, unless the alpha of it is getting reset. That might, it might actually make a difference. It might be the alpha getting reset. Uh, yes, it was the alpha being reset. Uh, I am an idiot. Uh, yes, don't follow my advice. Do reset the color. And there, you can see we have a missing texture and a sound that failed to play because it didn't exist in our game. Now, it exists on the server, but not here. Okay, so now we need to set fast the alpha. If you've ever seen servers are missing texture and stuff, uh, this is what they uh, want to do. Uh, also, you've probably already seen that 99% of servers that say fast the element title will still have missing textures, missing sounds, errors galore everywhere, like missing uh, models that just say error. And yeah, that's because of people who have failed to set up their fast DL properly, or have failed to set up at all, and they're like delivering idiots, uh, which is not anything uncommon among server hosts, believe me. Uh, so, let's uh, start. First, we need to tell our code that we want them to download this. We need to do that server side, so there's no use doing it in here. Let's go to Gary's mod add-ons to our test add-on add again, and then go Lua auto run server. Obviously, you can name these Lua files, whatever you want, but I'm giving them names that I ever find appropriate, or, haha, -ha, very funny and mature, obviously. Uh, so, how are we going to do this? Well, if you've ever added a workshop to the download, you know you'd, you'd, res you'd use resource.addworkshop as ID, but today we're going to be doing files manually. So, we'll do resource.addfile. See? Resource that add workshop. Resource that add file. It's magical. Now we can have a look at this on the wiki. Resource.add file. You don't need to worry about add file signal. S signal. Single. I can't speak today. Come on, man. And you can see here yeah, is a demonstration of what we're about to do. So, let's do materials slash was it HH underscore white? I believe it was. Dot PNG. Uh, is it? Yes, HH white PNG. And resource dot add file. C. 
sound slash U2F2. Wow. Wow. Dot uh, OGG. And there we go. That's our download file done. Uh, now, you might in the future need to get an automated tool to generate these for you if you're not making your own add-ons. For example, other people's add-ons may require you to fast the old content, but not to actually state it. And there are so many idiots who use content and are just like, oh, we'll expect them to uh, set up the download list themselves. Uh, we don't need to provide a fast DL for them. So, yes, you need to uh, either do this yourself when you're making an add-on, or go through manually and do this when you're doing uh, other people's add-ons, or get an automated tool if you have far too many to do, because this can easily add up to thousands of lines of doing this. And please remember, only do this on the server. It's key. That's why we did this in auto run server. Oh, we don't need that. Alright, so I'm just going to restart the server quickly. Uh, what was it? Change level GM construct. Uh, if you don't know you, to restart a server, um, if you have installed new add ons, you need to do a full reboot. If you've just made a new single file or whatever, you can just uh, do something like that. And. Uh, only takes like a couple of seconds, it's much faster, and it's, uh, it reloads all your lure. Alright, so now we have the server trying to download. But the issue is, it's going to try and download from through Source, the Source Engine's download system. Now we don't want that. So we're going to go to config, then server.config. This is where we have this before. Now, this may sound contrary to what you believe, but you don't want to set svlr download to 1, because that's a source engine download. So you want to go svlr download 0 to disable source engine download and force it to use fastdl. You also want to do svlr upload 0. This is not anything to do with fastdl, but uh, good old source engine exploits, you don't want people uploading anything to your server now, do you? I mean, we had the cough exploit a while back. I'm not sure if it's anything related to that, but if something w like that were to happen to you, you'd not be a happy server host or add-on add developer, so don't. Just don't allow them to do it. Set SV allow upload to zero. Let's save that. Exec config. Oh, not config. Server. <laughs> Exec server, there we go. No errors, which means we spelt them correct. Uh, segments 1 may work, I if I remember correctly, but um, 0 makes sense in the context that they actually are. Say, for example, if we did help SV uh, allow download, allows clients to download files, which it means from the actual server. Which we, we don't want them to download files from this server, we want them to download them from our web server, which is what FastDL is. Which brings us to our next step, which is uploading them to our web server. I'm going to connect to hexydrive.org. Ignore my really cancerous username. Uh, I made this website ages ago. And god, I got scammed and I'm retarded. So, Jerizza.mp3, ah, the voice of the skin. Uh, yeah, I have a load of random junk on my website, my actual server FastDL, but today we're going to make a new directory. Let's call it testdl. Now, you know how I mentioned add-ons uh, mirror the uh, Gary's mod directory in their format? So if you go to uh, add-ons, test add-on, you got these which uh, mirror Gary's mod. Obviously not all folders are here because they're not all used, but it mirrors that. Now you want your new FastDL folder to mirror this as well. So I'm going to upload materials and sounds here by dragging them into there. And there we go. Beautiful. If you don't know how to connect to your uh, FTP, just input your host, etc, etc, up here. It's quite easy. You can also look at tutorials on how to use uh, FileZilla or any other FTP client that you're choosing. Now we have them up here. Now we, uh, we, we know they're up here. We know this is where our downloads are going to be coming from. The server knows to try and download from uh, the web server, and it knows not to like download from itself. 
and the client knows to use the set textures, etc. But the server, the server doesn't know where this web server is. It's it's not psychic. It can't tell where your web server is unless you use a host that pre-configures this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do what was it again? SV download URL, I believe. Uh, let me just check that. I believe it's SV download URL. Yes, location from which clients can download missing files. So let's set our download URL. So in this case, we're using testdl on hexahedronic. So I'm going to make a new hexahedronic.org slash testdl. And here we go, we can see our index here. Which means I'm going to just copy this in quotes here and this should work. I hope so. I'm going to go back to Garrison. I'm going to set the similar kind of CL download filter to all which allows me to download from FastL and then we're going to pray this works and if it doesn't there's going to be a jump cut and I'm going to figure out what's wrong and then hang myself. Let's hope it works. Hype. Oh downloading. That seemed a bit too fast. Yes. Right, so. huh. Okay, that's strange. I uh, guess I'm going to hang myself now. Uh, jump cut when I find what's wrong. Actually, I think it might be better to sh show you what I'm going to do now to see what's going wrong. I'll just quickly restart my client. It's still the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look inside my own client. And then I'm going to go to, is it download? No, it's download them to materials. There's nothing here. Ah. Sound. Once again, there's nothing here. Space. Okay then. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here, which means it didn't download. Strange. Let's feed download. Oh, I know what I did. Did I? Wait, no. Did I? Did I? I don't know, did I execute the server? Yeah. No, I didn't. Ah, <laughs> that's probably the issue. I didn't actually set it. Um, there we go. Don't be stupid like me. Uh, actually, make sure to rerun your contract. Let's try again. Retry. Oh, and it actually appeared to download it that time. Let's hope. And there we go. We have, oh, well, that's some other person's joining. We have the hexahedronic logo on the top left as a demonstration. Uh, you didn't hear the sound because it ran while we were still loading. So let's do that again. Play Q2F2 wow.org. Oh, apparently it's still missing. Huh. Uh, ignore these. Uh, if you are doing large amounts of, uh, or large files, such as maps, you're going to want to compress them, but I'll be, sh I'll be showing you that next, I'm just... Strange. It does download it, it just doesn't play it. Uh, that's weird. Um, I'll try a different sound instead. Let's try a different sound. Maybe it doesn't like ARGs. I, I swear Gary's mod has put it. Oh, GG, but... Uh, the wrong folder. Uh, sound. Let's delete this. Oh, my glorious file. And let's find something else. I'll be back when I found a suitable replacement sound for my glorious voice. Alright, and we're back. I'm not going to demonstrate the sound. I think you can guess what it does by the file name. Uh, we don't need semicolon anymore. <laughs> uh, so let's replace the code with that. Let's go to add ons, test add on, lure. Client means dot lure. I opened that in the wrong thing. Uh, I already have it open, don't I? Silly me. Let's replace that with go over eight dot loud. Ah, the glorious sound of ear rape. And once again, let's update our download list. And then we will upload it to the server. Yeah. 
This is just a test, uh, like one of those test sounds for your uh, headphones. I couldn't find any other sound file on my computer that was not music or the sound of my voice. It's, it's not like I keep sounds of my voice randomly. That I'm not going to tell you where they're from, but I, 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 you can trust me. I don't just listen to myself. Not usually, anyway. I mean, sometimes, you know. But I had a good old cheeky listen to yourself. I mean, I'm not narcissistic at all, am I? Alright, so let's... That should work. I don't know if this will need a restart or anything, but we can try. Uh, oh, obviously. Alright, let's retry. It's a bigger file. Oh, you can see it's downloading. There we go. And yes! that sound. Well, I've already told you because I can't find that one. Ow. Okay, so now this is working. But, um, if you have a load of these files, you're probably not going to want to, uh, have a power download, are you? Which is where compression comes in. If you ever used a comp computer before, ever, you know what compression is. You might not know how it works or exactly what it is, but you know it makes bigger things into smaller things. Obviously, it's a lot more technical than that, but today we're going to be using a uh, compression algorithm, which is BZIP2, which is the source engine's default for downloads. So, let's go back to this. We're going to delete all of this. Oh, I'm going to have to listen to that horrible sound again, aren't I? I might just take my headphones off. Oh, God. Um... So let's. I'm going to use 7zip. I forgot to include that in here, but 7zip will also be in the description. It's a useful tool for compression. I'm going to add to archive. Bzip2. Normal, normal, normal. Yep, okay. There we go. Uh, contributing artist. Wow, nobody contributed to this era. If you look at the bottom here, 1.68 megabytes. 1.5. It's not a major difference, but think if you had thousands uh, of these files, that could make could make like literally a few minutes download time. I mean, it does. It really doesn't sound massive, but trust me, it is. All right. So uh, we no, the server doesn't need the original. In fact, the server doesn't need these at all. I'm just using it to demonstrate. This is 41 kilobytes. So let's uh, send it up and to archive. Uh, once again, oh, that's slightly bigger. Uh, well, I guess some things compress better than others. Uh, I'm not exactly perfectly rehearsed in compression, but I do understand the basics of it. And sometimes, especially if you have data that doesn't repeat frequently, you're going to have a larger compressed file than you do decompress. So, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Gary's mod download server. Oh no, 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 no. Download sound. Those are the downloaded sounds. I'm going to delete them. Uh, materials. I'm going to delete HH white and PNG as well. Uh, I'm going to quickly rejoin. Which it should become errors again because it can't access the download. Yep, oh no, all downloads failed. It'll say uh, HTTP error. Or, or it could just erase me again. You know, fuck this then. No, oh, thank God. Um, I guess it has it cached, but you can trust trust me. It, it failed to download them. Oh fuck no! Ah. There we go. Erase over. I'm just going to restart my game quickly. Oh, 
fail to download them. And oh no, they're missing. So let's upload the compressed versions now. Everything's the same except they're just now compressed. So let's upload these versions. God, my internet's bad tonight. Oh, uploading this video is going to be fun. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go, we have only compressed versions on the web server now. Come on, come on. Yeah, my web host is literally the shittest host that money can buy. Would have been happy if I got this shit for free. Oh no, I didn't mean to click that. Yeah, well, anyway, it's there. Useless, useless web host. God damn it. Hey, look, look, it's the twats who use fake players, fucking cunts. And I'm, no, I'm not going to apologise for saying that. They are. They're the people who ruined Gmod. Oh, and it's downloading BZ2 version. And I'm going to quickly stop sound run again, because I don't want to die. Oh, it's all working again. Stop sound. There we go. As you can see, it's all working and it's compressed, which with a large amount of files would make the download faster. So yeah, this is the basic gist of uh, Fast Uh If you found this video useful, uh, then please like it. You don't need to like, comment, subscribe, all that, all that stuff. But uh, do like it so other people can see. I don't care about getting uh, views or whatever. It just annoys me that so many servers don't know how to fast the correctly. And hopefully this has helped at least one person. So, yeah. If I admitting, admitted anything, uh, forgot something, or anything else, uh, let me know and I'll try and help you to the best of my abilities. Uh, if you don't follow this exactly or if you use something else, don't complain that it's not working. If you do everything the exact same, you even use the same images as me and it's not working, though, then uh, I, I have no idea. So, yeah, hopefully it's helpful. Uh, this is Q2F2, uh, massive faggot on Gmod, and uh, goodbye.